So alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are going to explore the DeWalt 12 volt system. Now, uh, after buying the Milwaukee 12 volt system and getting some Tech Life 12 volt system stuff, I want to get the Rigid, a couple tools from the Rigid 12 volt system, and the DeWalt. So what I got so far is I bought this separately on eBay. Unfortunately, you cannot get this at the Home Depot store or even online on Home Depot. So I had no choice but to go with eBay on this one. And so what I got so far was the is the DCF801 uh, compact 12-volt uh, impact uh, driver, quarter inch checks, of course. There's a couple of settings we're going to explore on that. Uh, but what we're, we're, we're going to unbox is the... Uh, the DeWalt 12 volt screwdriver. And so this comes with two batteries, a charger and a bag. And uh, and yeah, so luckily the chargers that I already have support the 12 volt charge. Uh, so I don't need to use this, uh, this charger because I already got one that charges 12 volt batteries. So let's uh, unbox this bad boy, look at the specs and do a little demonstration, see how it works. So already, what we have here is the quarter inch screwdriver kit. And so this thing is actually pretty cool. I guess the tool line is called Extreme. So this thing's pretty cool. So we are going to unbox this right now. And see what's inside. Ooh, it comes with a bag. Like I said, it comes with a bag. I'm a huge fan of the bags. It's like, that's a cute little bag. <laughs> that is seriously a cute little little bag. All right, so the first thing you get in the bag, first thing you get in the bag, of course, is belt clip, instructions, and I'm pretty sure the warranty is in here as well. <coughs> the charger. Uh, does this uh, so yes it gives you a 12 volt and 20 volt charger so which I already have that on the wall and so we're gonna use that one instead so this just goes into the charger the extra charger uh, drawer then you get two batteries which we're actually gonna put one of these in right now now unfortunately when it comes to the the DCB118 fast charger, that does not support the 12 volt system. That only supports the 20 volt max batteries. So we're going to put one of these on charge and explore the other one. There we go. Alright, so. This is seriously a cute little battery. This really is. This really is a cute little battery. It does have a fuel gauge, which is good. Having a fuel gauge is essential in today's world. These are two amp hour batteries, which is good because I have two other, I have two amp hour 12 volt batteries as well. So it's an equal competition, but yeah. So instead of pushing down like you normally do for these, you push in. Like instead of just pushing down, you push in. So, they're very cute little batteries. Got one on charge. Yep. And then, what you get is the screwdriver. Now let's see if this has a little charge. It does. Alright, so there is... Uh, I believe this this it looks like metal, but it feels like it's plastic. And the clutch is plastic, but I think the area around it's yeah, that's plastic as well. So yeah, it has a uh, three LED, uh, three LEDs on the front, which this has a clear casing around it. In fact, the quarter inch uh, hex impact has the clear casing around it too, so it gives the illusion of the entire ring gets lit up. But very good. There is a click in the clutch. Then you get max. It goes 1, 2, 15, and then you get max. Like I said, like uh, they say, this is a screwdriver. So it's going to be a very weak tool. 
but it's it's cool to have they do make a drill which i am ordered the drill is on its way we'll uh do a demonstration for that as well but very good it is a cute little tool this seriously is a cute it's a cute little bag it really is a cute little bag <coughs> so let's see what the specs say on this this goes uh 0 to 1100 rpms 12 volt system and then that's pretty much it no impacts no nothing is it brushless? Yes, it is. It is brushless. That that's the see even a low end tool like this that Dewalt makes it's brushless. Whatever tool, whatever tools from here on out get made, they have to be brushless for people to be interested. I mean, even the 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 12 volt system on for the Milwaukee and Dewalt are 12 are brushless. So that's so that's pretty much that. The specs on the quarter inch hex impact is zero to thirty six hundred impacts per minute. The RPMs is a zero on the uh, setting one, zero to nine hundred fifty. The speed two zero to uh, one thousand nine hundred fifty. Then speed three. Uh, 2000, 0 to 2850. So let's actually put the battery in this. Let's hear what this sounds like. Very, very cool. All right, but I do want to get... I do want to get this on because, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the belt clip. Like I said, to do task, uh, small tasks like taking apart tools, you know, this little device is very handy. These little, these little things are awesome. We're, we are going to test these out as soon as that battery is charged. But very good. Alrighty, so we are going to do a quick test on the DeWalt 12 volt screwdriver. And so the battery is full, the battery indicator is in the front. And so it is on max. We are going to see and how this performs. We're going to start off small, then work our way bigger. All right, so I think we're pretty, I don't like that. It's, it's a little loose in there, but it's okay. All right, so three, two, one, go. <laughs> one not bad right, that was a test we're gonna do th three holes see how fast it, it does them all right so three two one go it did them it did them very good with we're gonna do two five eighths holes see how it performs battery is at two bars all right so three it's at max all right so three two one go <laughs> There we go. It's capable of doing it. It's capable of doing it. Not bad for this little guy. 12 volt down to two bars. All right, so we're gonna swap out batteries. Full bars. We're gonna try out the 12 volt impact really quick. All right, we have some specs here. I think a four inch and a six inch.
Nope, a four inch and a five inch. We're gonna try the specs out. All right, it is on high. See what this little guy can do. All right, so three, two, one, go. Time. All right, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do the five inch. Five inches next. All right, so three, two, one, go. Time. Not too shabby. Not too shabby for a little 12 volt. Not too shabby at all. I like that. All right, now let's take them both out at once. Let's see what it can do. Four inch first. All right, so three, two, one, go. <laughs> Not too shabby. What's the battery on that? Went down to two bars. Not too shabby. Alrighty, these two little guys prove to be extremely good for a 12 volt system. Now I have not tested out the, the M12 fuel um, Milwaukee 12 volt system yet, but we are going to. We are going to do versus videos left and right on these as well. I am going to get rigid 12 volt and TAC Life already proved to be a good 12 volt system. And so we're going to do versus videos on all these, you know, including with everything that I got. I'm going to buy these uh, tools, test them out, see how, how well they perform, so you don't have to. So that's what this channel is going to turn into. But these two tools prove to be extremely good for, 12 volt, for a 12-volt system. I, I, I like it. I like it. I got the, drill com the brushless 12-volt drill coming in. Now, it's not a hammer drill, it's just a drill, but I, this is just a regular screwdriver. And so, yeah, we're going to see on how that performs as well. So, so the screwdriver is a variable speed trigger only. There is no speed setting, but on the impact, there is a speed setting. There's a, a screw setting, which I think is precision, uh, low, then high. That's, uh, this is a uh, screw, low. High. But like I said, TAC Life also proved their 12 volt system is good as well. So we are going to wrap this up right now. And so that's pretty much it. This has been the unboxing. There's not really much specs on these because they're low powered tools. They're 12 volt. <laughs> so, so that's pretty much it. So this is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.